Okay, so I'm going to show you all how to make a rolling offset. So the situation we've got here is I've got a rack here, uh, and it's at 10 foot to the bottom elevation. I've got a box that is 9.6 to the center of the box. And because of some duct that's running above this in the model, uh, I'm not able to bring this box in line with the conduit like I would like. And because the difference is only six inches, I don't have really space to 90 down into the top of the box. It's not working. So I'll show you all how we'll do uh, a rolling offset. So I'm going to use my cut tool. I'm going to cut in a couple locations here. Delete that. I'm going to align the conduit to that knockout and I'm going to adjust the elevation down to nine foot six. Alright, so we can look at it in a section view here I've got set up. So I need to have a rolling offset so it'll both change elevation and go off to the side just a little bit. Alright, so the way we're going to do that is and I want to get something close to a 30 degree angle. I'd like to get exactly a 30, but Revit doesn't like to do things like that. So I right click on the conduit, say draw conduit. Now, an important thing you need to make it so that you've got change slope selected. And uh, oh, another thing when you're doing this, you've got to go to your electrical settings, set the angles to any angle because. You could try to say specify a five degree increment, but uh, it, it won't work. Here, we'll try it. So right click, draw conduit, and make sure change slope is on. Then I simply go to the end of the conduit here, and it didn't work. Let's try to scoot this back a little bit. Maybe we can get it to work. So again, right click, draw conduit. We've got change slope on, and it pretty much never works when I have the five degree uh, selected. I wish it would, but I go to any angle and do the same thing. Draw a conduit and connect, and it connects. Let's see what angle we have. I select the fitting. We're like at 22.64 degrees. So I'm actually gonna undo that, bring this guy back a little bit, a little closer, so we get closer to a 30. Right click, draw conduit, connect. What are we at now? 24.6. Let's try once more. I'm trying to get close to that 30 degrees. Alright, 27.4, getting closer. Just a little closer. Alright, 27.79, I'm going to call that good, and uh, the way we do it here is when we have um, changes in elevation, we'd like to make magenta, so I've got a filter set up so that when I enter OS in the comments field, I've got a filter set up to turn to magenta. Alright, we'll do the same over here too. Currently got this, I'm going to delete that, and this fitting here. Trying to leave my section cut too. All right, and I'm gonna select a little piece of kind of going down. Let's see. All right, so do the same thing. And align, align the end of the conduit to the box. Slice, slice, slice. Change the elevation to nine six, and align this piece with this piece. All right. I'm going to scoot this guy back a little bit, about there, and scoot him back a little bit too. Alright, so right click, got change slope on, I connect it, what are, what is our spinning size? 33.97, that'll, that'll work for now. Because in reality, they're going to be bent at 30 degrees. This is really just for representation. And there we've got two rolling offsets, and we can look at these guys in 3D view. Did the BX command. And there we go.
go. Rolling offset. 